Hello everybody, this is Jack, aka Just Too Easy. And I am doing another James Bond commentary. And I need to turn it up. Okay. So, this is the last episode of this series. I know. Don't wipe the tears out of your eyes, guys. It was a uh, it was a fun run for us. It only took uh, about six months. And to be honest, I had just finished the campaign, the fourth of June. I'm ashamed of that. Very ashamed. But at least I got it done. That's always a positive. Although. I have to admit, I died more than I probably should have. But you guys like dying. I just want to let you know that every time I died, I spazzed, chucked a controller. Um, let's see what else I do. Kill the cat, maybe. I think that happened once or twice. Uh, there might have been some fapping in between there, but we're not too sure of. Whoa. No. I'm beating the shit out of you. How are you not dead yet? Anyway, uh, fapping. Let's see what else was there. There was some minor rioting. Um, I think that's about it. There might have been some tanks going on. Holy shit, that could have hurt a lot. Ow, bitch. That was almost my nuts. And, is he gonna get me? Oh, no, no, not, not yet. Not yet, guys, not yet. Maybe it's right here? Is it right here? Do I die here? Do you want me to die here? I could die here. I have a topic I want to talk to you guys about this time, though. Rather than, you know, just random bullshitting around that I normally do. I want to talk to you guys about... Women. Um... Women are complicated beings. They exist only in our imaginations, and I can't keep a normal conversation going very long, I guess. It always has to go off into the fantasies of my mind. My mind is a beautiful place with lots of fantasies, but these fantasies are normally not supposed to be seen by ordinary people. But, if you want to know about them, then you can just imagine the worst possible thing that you can imagine, times it by ten, and that's probably what I'm imagining right now. But today was the last day of school, June 5th, for us kids in our wonderful little town. Wow, that was thoughtful insight there, James. James... And it was n bittersweet for me today. Very bitter in the fact that I asked a girl out. And she said no. So that made me sad inside. I, I might have cried, you know. Tears. Tears of sadness. They, they were gushing out like Niagara Falls. And Niagara Falls really falls. So, I just want to say that... Oh, I die right here. It's the first death of the commentary. <laughs> I flipped a tit. I threw something at the wall. But you can't hear that, because this is not a live recording. This is a post-commentation. Which is how I like doing these, I think. They're, they're very fun. I mean, once I, I've done a lot of... Um, regular commentaries like where I do them live like with fraps or got a new series coming out so that'll be fun since this one's ending I gotta place another one. Oh, also I think I'm going to discontinue the battlefield series seeing as how I can't play the game for some reason I don't know why it just doesn't seem to want to work so anyway I asked this girl out she said no, she's dating someone. And the person she's dating is a complete and total asshole, pervert, womanizer, you know, freak. Who, which is 
actually how the stereotypes make it go. The pretty, hot, nice girls always go for the womanizing assholes. So, yeah, there's that. And then this other girl that I was going to ask out, because, you know, I'm a womanizer too, I guess. I don't know. Well, I mean, I wasn't going to ask them both out, but the first one denied me, so I was going to ask the second one out. But I don't have her phone number, so I go on Facebook. I mean, I she accepted my Facebook friend request, like, oh, a couple weeks ago. Go on to look for her. Guess what? She deactivated her account. And then I look at my um, profile on Facebook, and there's some stuff on there that I hadn't written. So I'm thinking my account got hacked. Hers got deactivated. I got denied. It's been a shitty day. I, I just, I just was not having the greatest day ever. So I decided to make a commentary and vent, and hopefully this will be loved by all, hated by none, and revered by most. Cause that would really put a smile on my face. A very big smile on my face. So. Do you guys have any women stories that you would like to share in the comments? Or any ideas for any future topics to talk about? Or future anything? I don't even care. Just tell me your life story. I just want to hear from you guys. Now, this video is probably only going to get like two or three people watching it. But I've accepted that. I do it for fun now. I used to do it because I wanted views to be like Hutch or something like that and just dominate everyone's mind. I want to be an influence. I want to be well known. But I don't think that's going to happen. So, I don't know about that. Oh, I went to Target today. And I bought three movies. They're all on Blu-ray. I like Blu-ray. It makes me happy. Oh, look. I paused. I went to look at the objective, so it's like, what the hell? Oh, and then he, he beats me twice. But anyway, the three movies I got, and I have them right here, are Castaway with Tom Hanks. My favorite part. Wilson! <laughs> yeah, anyway. And The Italian Job with Mark Wahlberg and Jason Statham, one of the best actors ever only because he beats the shit out of everyone he sees and then Thor because I'm into this Marvel shit I guess I don't know I saw the Avengers and I was like hey Iron Man I liked Iron Man so now um, I got Thor I, I got Captain America previously I got the 3D blu-ray DVD digital copy thing I don't know why I got the 3D one I mean, oh, he just got he just got a gun butt to the crotch. But I don't have a 3D TV, 3D Blu-ray player, or 3D anything for that matter. So that was kind of a pointless thing. I could have saved five bucks and gotten the regular. This is what I did with Thor, actually. Got the regular. And I was in there looking at the Iron Man Blu-ray, and it is 23 bucks at Target. I th I figured it'd be 10 because like. There's a lot of $10 uh, Blu-rays, so that that that's still a popular movie, I guess. A very popular movie indeed. So I didn't have enough money for that, so I didn't buy it. But I plan on getting Iron Man, Iron Man 2, and the Hulk movie, all on Blu-ray. Because, I don't know. I like Blu-ray. I like those movies. They make me happy inside. I'm also going to get the Avengers on Blu-ray. Just, just when it comes out. Because that is the best movie. Ever. 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 Besides A Beautiful Mind. So, that's the first time I die in that exact spot. And I still have no idea what it is. But I think it's because the rockets, it shot the missile and it just blew me up. It blew me away. 
Oh, by the way, have you guys, specifically Anna and Wolf, seen A Beautiful Mind with, um, whatever the fuck his name is? Pardon my language. I can't remember. I am seriously drawing a blank. I think it's Russell Crowe. That doesn't sound right, though. Uh huh. Um, well, yeah, anyway, with that one guy. Have you guys seen him? Seen it? Whatever. What the fuck are they talking about here? Good movie. I remember. Put down the gun. Yeah, put down the gun, Alec Trevlin. You know, I like. I'm, I'm sad because uh, that guy, he's played by a different person in the game. I mean, every almost everyone else is played by the same person. Well, maybe not actually. No, to be honest, it's only James Bond is played by Daniel. Fuck, he's not even played by that. Wow, Judy Dench. M, the only person who's actually from the original movie. The fuck is this shit? I wish they did. I wish they still had Pierce Brosnan. Oh, see, there's. Oh, see, I thought I was gonna die, and then I died there. I thought I was dead. That's why I didn't do anything. I would have. I would have been alive that time if I would have done something. Oi, hey, that's French for. Oh shit, something like that. I don't fucking know. Man, I don't even know. It's so much work. <laughs> ho ho ho. Yeah, so. I forget what I was talking about now. Oh, my favorite um, Avenger member is Iron Man, aka Robert Downey Jr., aka the billionaire playboy philanthropist. I missed something there. Let's see, what is it? It is the. Oh fuck, I can't remember. But he's my. He's. That's what I want to do when I grow. I want to be a playboy billionaire philanthropist. Woman. Uh, God damn it! I can't remember what this. No, I'm actually gonna look it up right now. Yeah. So Iron Man, he is the best character. Um, the best. I don't, I don't know. I think it's the suit. It just makes him... It, it may, it may, if I had a suit like that, I would be so happy. I'd, like, fly around everywhere. And uh, he's a genius billionaire playboy philanthropist. That is the funniest thing, like... It's just, it's like Hugh Hefner, Bill Gates, um, okay, it's, it's most of Bill Gates mixed with Hugh Hefner. Genius, genius billionaire playboy philanthropist, genius billionaire philanthropist from Bill Gates, playboy from, um, Hugh Hefner. He's a mix of the two best people in the world. There we go. Oh, this is. I actually got this. I got it this time. I didn't die this this one. But don't worry, I'll die sooner. I'll die like 17 times. What is this? Get out of here. Sit down. So I think me and Anon Wolf, Anonymous Wolf Man, Thomas, whatever the fuck you call him, are going to do a new Let's Play series, actually. Uh, I don't know what we're doing. He doesn't know what we're doing. No one knows what we're doing, but it's going to be interesting, to say the least. Um, also, I was planning on doing um, uh, all the Call of Duties. For Xbox, like COD 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, is there 9? Is it 9? I don't know. I, I can name them, but I don't know how many there are. COD 2, 3, Mod 1, World at War, Mod 2, Black Ops, Mod 3. That is 8, right? Oh, I died there. I'm a dumbass. Uh, and then the ninth one, Black Ops 2. That'll be. I'll do a playthrough of that, actually, too. So it's like leading up to it 
Oh, also, what is that? That new... I think it's called Dishonored. It's the new one by Bethesda Softworks. That one looks good. I'm not gonna lie. Can't wait for it. I pre-ordered it. Let's see, I pre-ordered it. Assassin's Creed 3 and Black Ops 2. Oh, obviously Black. I pre-ordered every Call of Duty since Mod 2. So, yeah. I, I, it, the trailer looked amazing for Dishonored. I'm, I'm calling it Dishonored, but I have no idea if that's what it's called. I mean, it looked so flippin' amazing. Oh shit, he shot me. Bitch. It was like... It's like, I don't know, it reminds me of Steampunk. But it doesn't, it's, I don't know, it's kind of, it's like... It looks freaking cool. Let's just go with that. We'll just leave it at that. And then Assassin's Creed 3. Uh, the E3 trailer or whatever. I'll look it up if you want to. It's amazing. See, I, I was I was rage shooting here. I was like, fuck my life. But this gun doesn't shoot very fast. Then this gun, I had to reload it in. It's only a three shot. So I couldn't rage. I tried to jump off. I was like, bitch. Alright, and then I die again, so don't worry, I'll die. Why couldn't he just... He should have just shot him right there. There's so many options and times where he could get shot, but no. Oh, haha. <laughs> Sean Bean played the original Alec Trevlin. Isn't that ironic? He dies. Sean Bean dying in the movie. That is funny. Itch. I keep, I always hit that wrong button there. I did it like three times and it's not cool. It makes little babies cry. Hey, what should I do an entire episode while speaking with a British accent? I think I can do a British accent very well. But it's probably mocking to some people. Mostly the British people. I don't know why. But it sounds kind of funny. It sounds like buggery. Buggery? Buggery? With them pedophiles committing buggery? <laughs> ah. There we go. Quick scoping. Get my aim ready. I'm ready to do this shit. I got this. Bitch, you going down this time. Ow. Hey, watch what you're doing, bruh. So this guy, he's been beaten how many times? And he just, he just can't. I, I just don't understand it. I mean, these games are so stupid. He doesn't die. He doesn't show any signs of fatigue. He's just beaten and beaten and beaten and beaten beaten and beaten and it's just like holy shit they just take so much shit so makes the game seem a little you know not realistic but what do you do what do you do also at the end of this I skipped the credits cause the credits were like 15 minutes long I figured it was stupid for England, James. No. For me. Yeah, fuck you, bitch. Oh, to the neck. So just walk right over to the edge. Explosion happens. Fall in. Now, as always in all the James Bond, let's get the girl. Yeah, you fly in really close and then you're like way the fuck out there. Yeah, makes sense, why don't you? I have to say I have not liked a James Bond game since the PS2 version of Everything or Nothing. I, to be honest, I only like two James Bond games. Three, maybe. Uh, GoldenEye, the original. James Bond, Everything or Nothing. And possibly James Bond, Agent Under Fire. 
Other than that, I pretty much think that most of them sucked. So I'm gonna let you watch this little cutscene at the end. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, like me on Facebook, on the Twitter. Check out my boy Anonymous Wolfman and Destry LP. He's our new compadre and our trio of triumphant tranquilizers. Elephant style. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll leave you with this cutscene. Thank you. I could have done that myself.